Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jedi here, and um, well, I'm gonna do something new here on my channel. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a lot more, but um, you know, I'm gonna try to try testing drinks. I mean, yeah, I know there's some people who do it. I mean, one person I do it, one person I'm, uh, I'm sub two, heavy base sex, he does it all the time with his down the water hole series, but uh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to call it LWJ's Taste Test, okay, and uh, my first one is going to be your average cup of coffee, and this is actually a cup of premium roast coffee from Jack in the Box. Uh, this came with a uh, meal that I had, the uh, loaded breakfast sandwich, which is actually quite good. But I'm doing drinks, so. Um, <clears throat> now, I've already taken a few sips and it's, it was quite hot, so I couldn't really judge the taste. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink that's cool, but it's a little cooled down. I mean, it's cooled down quite a bit because it's pretty cold out here in LA. Huh. Rare to see the parking lot here empty. I mean, it was empty yesterday. Now it's because it was the this place is uh, El so Mexican food restaurant, quite good. Um, it was closed yesterday for the holiday. There's like four or five now. I think those are. I think those are uh, all I use. So let me just stop babbling and uh, take a drink of this premium roast coffee. Not bad taste. I mean, it's your average coffee taste. No, no bitter aftertaste like I have with some coffees. And it's a little light. I mean, it also could be because of the uh, because of the specific uh, Jack in the Box I went to. But all in all, it's. Not too bad. I mean, I would, I would, um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to do my rating scale here. I'm going to introduce my rating scale for this. My rating scale is going to be add no creamer, a little bit of creamer, or even sugar, a little bit of uh, cream and sugar. Blow it up with a cream and sugar, and of course, my if it's really bad. I'm gonna say it's a uh, like some coffee with a cream and sugar. So, with this one, I'm gonna say this is because of how it's a little, a little, a little light. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna add. I would add one. Oh, add a creamer to it. And um, tell you the truth, I wasn't really have. I didn't really have my expectations high for this, considering it's a uh, considering it's a fast food coffee. Because thanks to places like Coffee Bean, Tea Leaf, and Starbucks. A lot of these fast food companies, coffees have kind of got kind of gotten worse because people now want the premium stuff, stuff that Starbucks and Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf make. Which I'm not bashing Starbucks and Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf; they serve they serve some really good coffee and stuff. But <clears throat> yeah, thanks to them, they've. It, these places like these have kind of gotten a little 
battle of coffee. And um, so yeah, that's what I would say about that's what I say about this Dragon Box premium ro premium roast coffee. I, mean, I might try another <coughs> I might try uh, coffee on a water jack in the box because I think that maybe this one will let maybe the waters it down because of its because of the location. But um, or maybe they water it down because of the because they're low on stock. Who knows? <coughs> but uh, yeah, that's. That's how I feel about this coffee. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this new introduction to my new series. And again, as, as always, this is Lowell Jazz. I thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Take care of yourselves.